The Translational Research Institute for Space Health, or TRISH for short, is partnered with the NASA Human Research Program. We search the world for innovations that can keep humans healthy in space. These are the top concerns we're most worried about. Food. <laughs> Let's talk about food. <laughs> Such an emotional component. It to is food. an emotional component. To not be satiated by food is a very human need. When you go back to like biology, um, and how disruptive not having your needs met. When they got to grow things, um, it was a real psychological boost to watch these plants grow. And, and they became part of the family and people would go and look at the plants grow. So it's not just for eating, but it's also for the, you know, for cultural uh, and for, uh, for behavioral health purposes. One very important thing I learned about living in, or while living in space, is that all the preparation you can do, there are some things you can never prepare for, and you have to have solid fundamentals, but you also have to learn there's a, a, a better and more effective way to adapt, and there's a, a way to adapt or do things on the fly that's unprepared and not going to be very good for you. So knowing everything you can about the environment, but also respecting the environment enough to know I've never spent exposed time in one-third gravity. So when I get there, I'm going to have to adapt what I do and, and how I use my equipment. We're working on um, artificial intelligence and having sort of that um, robot butler kind of a thing, someone that you can talk to that then responds to you. It's not just you know a one-way discussion. They actually get a response. Very science fiction-y, right? Kind of hell, but not hell. Um, a benevolent and, hell. Actually, yes, yes. No one was going to, you know, not open the hatch for you or anything. So radiation is one of the, the highest level risks that we have and because there is a fair amount of uncertainty. Space radiation is different from the radiation you get on the planet. And the, the, the reason is that we have this wonderful geomagnetosphere that surrounds us, that protects us from a lot of the incoming radiation, whether it be from the sun or from, you know, a GCR, galactic cosmic radiation, which are typically outburst from supernova and things and pulsars, quasars. So um, those pose a risk when you leave the Earth's geomagnetosphere that don't exist while you're here on the planet. And that's the radiation we're afraid of because we know it's higher energy and it has higher potential biologic effect than the radiation you would get, say, from getting a chest X-ray or a CT scan or natural radiation like radon that you get in the, that are in the household. The challenge of keeping humans healthy in space propels us to innovate in ways that continue to enhance how we live here on Earth.